Newcastle fans say they are fueled by the co-op this summer. The co-op's irresistible Hereford Beef Burgers recently won the Which Best Buy Taste Award and the only brand to be rated at Best Buy. For more info, check the link in the description. Hi everyone, how are you doing? He's alright. So some good news, we've actually bought a player. I know it's a wheel and deal what Rafa's uh, been going on about saying, but you know, it's still a player that's coming at the end of the day. We'll be having from Fabian Shaw in just a moment, but a little bit on him as well. So Fabian Shaw will wear the number five. He's 26-year-old Swiss international as well. Newcastle have bought him because they've activated a relegation release clause because Deportivo La Coruña were relegated from La Liga. And it's, you know, it's it's really Chancel and Bemba's replacement. Let's not kid ourselves here. You know, we've got him in on the cheap hour of Selden Bemba for slightly more. As I've said, I'll touch upon as well, Rafa is clearly wheeling and dealing, which obviously hasn't gone too, gone down well with many fans as well. Rafa's turned around and said about the signing, I'm really pleased to welcome Fabian to Newcastle United. He's an international. He did well in the World Cup and has great experience. He adds competition in this position and that is a positive for the team. So nice words about what Rafa said. Uh, let's have a look at what Shaw said when he was speaking to NUFC TV. Yeah, I'm really happy to be here. Uh, the last days I was uh, expecting this and now is, is the day where I'm here. And so I'm looking forward for, for everything who's coming. And uh, yeah, at the moment I'm just uh, just glad and happy happy to be here in Newcastle. It seems like a transfer that's gone through quite quickly. What have the last 24, 48 hours been like for you? Yeah, it was really quickly because I was like a normal training in uh, Deportivo and of course I knew about the contact. I talked with, uh, with the mister here and uh, yeah, and yesterday uh, was uh, like a finish line so I knew it could happen very fast and uh, then I got the call to, to come here tomorrow so I packed all my stuff as possible and uh, come over here. Yeah. So he's past clubs then, he's played for Ville 1900 which was his local club and then he moved on to the Giants Basel, everybody knows who they are, they compete in the Champions League every year, went to the Bundesliga, played for Hoffenheim and last season he spent his, uh, the full season at Deportivo before moving to us. Now I've done a little bit of research on him, you know, um, we'll talk about his style in a moment but he played 25 games for Deportivo in La Liga last season and whilst he played they conceded 56 so that's more than two average per game whilst he's in that side which isn't great reading he did score twice but he has picked up 10 bookings so he's got a little bit of a reputation of picking up a booking here and there now you did play three games in the World Cup you would have played all four but he missed the last 16 when they got beat off Sweden 1-0 again because of suspension he had already picked up two yellow cards in the group stages as well so, he's already played at St. James's Park before. Yep, he's played for Switzerland in the Olympics when they played against, I think it was Gabon, off the top of your head at St. James's Park. Now, according to whoscored.com, his strengths are tackling, concentration and blocking. But his weaknesses are passing aerial duels. That surprised me a little bit. And no, no surprise here, discipline. Now, his style, according to whoscored.com, says that he likes to come out and dribble with the ball. He likes to go long. He likes to look up and see who's doing movement, like a long ball, quite similar to like Florian Lejeune would do. Loves a tackle, hence his reputation of having poor discipline. Fouls a lot, no shock there. No nonsense as well. He's not one of your, it sounds like what they're describing as is none of this ball playing centre back. You'll just hoof it out old style as well. So that's a bit on Fabian Shaw. Uh, it's, let's be honest, it's Mbemba's replacement. I think he'll have more chance and I think he will play a lot more than what Mbemba did. Mbemba only played 11 times last year. I think Shaw is a natural centre-back and Mbemba played, played more games only because of their injuries. I think Kieran, Clark, Kieran Clark's position is a little bit under threat because Shaw could move up. And depending on how serious Flan Lejeune's injury is, he might actually start the season depending on... And let's hope he's, Lejeune's knee injury isn't too bad as well. We'll give you more than that when we get that as well. Just coming to touch, you know, there is... Local and national reports saying that we've agreed a deal for uh, for the Japanese striker Mutu. Once that does become more official, we'll do a official video on it. But we're waiting for that to be made official. Speaking of transfers as well, Isaac Hayden has again come out and said that he still wants to leave the club. He knows that he's uh, helped the club get in the Premier League, stay in the Premier League, and now he wants to move on. He's waiting for a response from the club as well, so that doesn't sound like it's great at the moment. He got a good reception where we were a hull. We clapped him on the pitch, we didn't boo him as well, so we'll have to see how that one goes. Look, he's not going to be a regular, let's not be honest. Is he going to be a massive loss? I don't think so. And if we can get a resolution and get somebody back in for him because of we're wheeling a deal because of Mike Ashley, then so be it. This is what we've got to contend with. But it's competitive, 
I think he'll come third choice, possibly centre back, push Q and Clock down the pecking order. That's what I'm going to predict. Let us know what you think as well. And of course, we'll bring you more official videos if the Mutu deal goes through later on today or tomorrow as well. Cheers. Have a good, have a good night. Bye bye.